taking a look at that petition uh, by an international uh, policy group there, an international NGO now probing or asking the ICC to probe the opposition chiefs. Uh, do grab your copy of that. And... Um, Still on page five of the paper, courting the ICC, why The Hague has become a boogeyman of Kenyan politics. And so the Netherlands-based International Criminal Court is not new to the country. Um, having been uh, rather popular about uh, 10 years ago uh, during the prosecution of crimes against humanity against uh, six Kenyan leaders. And um, an interesting report here uh, on how it has... Uh, you know, a strange title of a boogeyman to Kenya's uh, politicians, especially those who use ethnic mobilization and violence as their path to power. Remember, we have had various efforts from religious leaders, the clergy, as well as uh, the National Cohesion and Integration Commission in ensuring uh, that... Um, matters or divisive uh, you know utterances by our politicians uh, are not spewed dividing the country even further and we'll be uh, keeping an eye on how the international criminal court responds to this um, considering that uh, they did quash the existing cases against uh, deputy president uh, william ruto as well as a uh, former journalist joshua arab sang <laughs>